Guess what time is, folks? It's Cruise News time! A mobility scooter burst in flames while on board a PL cruise ship, Iona. But how did it burst in flames? What happened was there was a malfunction with the battery, which caused the battery to overheat, and then it caused a fire which burst in flames on the mobility scooter. And when this happened, they had to evacuate the entire cruise ship. And this happened on the first day of the cruise. And safely, the crew was able to put out the fire where nobody got hurt. There was no damage to the ship. So it was like as if nothing ever happened. Obviously, there was a little smell from the fire, but that's the worst thing that happened. And thank God nobody got hurt. Thank God the person that was on the scooter um, didn't get caught into the fire. And also on this cruise, this cruise ship responded to a distress call, but the vessel in that distress call sank leaving one dead and four missing. So this is very sad for everybody that's on that vessel and all their family. I mean, you could only assume the worst that more than likely it's probably five dead, but I hope not. But I haven't heard any updates. And when I know updates, you will know. So we could, all we could do right now is just pray for them. A person went overboard on the Royal Caribbean ship, Symphony of the Seas, as she was sailing from Barcelona, Spain, to Valencia during a 14-night transatlantic, which will end in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The incident happened on Sunday, October 29th at 11 p.m. So in case you do not know, when you hear the alert, Oscar, 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 that means that there's a person that went overboard, and now the ship's going to stop and look for whoever fell overboard, right? So within an hour during the search and rescue to find this missing person, right, they did find him. They were able to save that person's life and bring that individual to get medical attention because obviously right now we do not know the gender of this person. We do not know if it was a crew, if it was a passenger. So Royal Caribbean is not letting anybody know. And we do not even know if it was a person jumped overboard, if they were pushed overboard, if it was an accident. We don't know if the person has some mental issues. So Royal Caribbean is not saying nothing about this passenger. I mean, they should at least let her know if it was at least a crew or if it was a passenger. Well, technically, you know, your crew, everyone is a passenger on that vessel. So technically, it is a passenger. But... This is actually some good news in a way. Obviously, really good news because lately, when the people jump overboard or they fall overboard, they have not been able to find the passengers or the crew member on whoever fell overboard. Well, at least this time, they found the person and they were able to save their lives and bring them back onto the ship and get medical attention. So that's a really good thing that happened. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the show today. Um, this Wednesday, the live stream is going to be canceled, but my live stream will be Friday at 7 p.m., so do not miss it. Until next time, everybody, safe travels.